G'day, my name is Chris Mouflard, I'm a project engineer at Vico Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner Video Training Series Level 5, LBMS Schedule Optimization. In this vignette, we're going to talk about why LBMS is a better way to optimize a construction schedule and how we optimize a construction schedule in LBMS. Let's start by isolating these three activities. Let's represent them in the flow line view. The slope of each line is a representation of its duration. Let's now align the production rates. In this instance, this means making the middle line faster or matching the slopes of its predecessor and successor tasks. We have now compressed the project's duration by 10 to 20 percent without increasing the risk of the entire schedule. Let's look at another example. The aim of flow line optimization is to plan for continuous workflow, eliminate starts and stops, and develop optimal crew sizes to ensure the continuous workflow remains constant. As we discussed in the level four vignettes, on the left hand axis, we have the location hierarchy. In the top row, we have the calendar. We can then track each activity through each location over a time span. We have four activities here, framing, drywalling, tiling, and priming and sealing. As you can see, the green tiling activity starts and stops. This introduces risk to the schedule through demobilizations and mobilizations of this crew. We also have additional waste between the framing and drywalling activity. This waste is a cause of location and time delay that could be absorbed by crews working within this time span. Let's start by first making tiling continuous. We do this by pulling tiling start date closer to its end date. However, when we first do this, you can note the new waste that's developed between the tiling and priming and sealing task. Let's keep an eye on the red line and see what happens next. As we slow down the drywalling task and slow down the tiling task, we pull the schedule into production alignment. Now look at the big difference between the original finish date and the optimized finish date. Flowline optimization aims to standardize production rates and eliminate overlapping tasks. We plan for no conflicts or crossing activities. We equally divide the work by location instead of using the locations poorly. We aim for continuous work and not stacked trade. We can compress the duration without introducing the risks of starts and stops. And we can use time and space buffers to mitigate project bottlenecks. This vignette has taught you that forcing continuity is pulling a task to its end date, allowing it to flow without stops and starts through the project. Location-based management systems allows us to visualize inefficiencies in the schedule, and we can use this visualization to align the natural production rates of the tasks by adding or subtracting crews.